Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T back at it with something a little different. Now, usually y'all know we come with the music reviews and stuff like that. I've done a couple unboxings here and there, but um, for sure this summer we're gonna be getting into a couple different styles of videos, and unboxings definitely gonna be one of those. You feel me? But if y'all couldn't tell from the title, man, today we are reviewing these bad boys. Hold on, cause it's a little bright, ain't it? These are the new, how do you say it, Adilet? I think it's Adilet 22 slots. Y'all see it has that like wave type of pattern on it. And I'll be giving y'all some some uh, up close shots of it and everything like that uh, as we move through the video. But these slots retailed at $55. I actually got like 10% off, I think, on Adidas. Um, you actually had to be lucky to get these because I want to say they officially released on June 23rd um, and they'll be dropping this colorway which is I think it's called green slime and then they have another two colorways which is going to be a mix between these two so the green that you see in here is one that's just all green and then the brown that you see in here as well um, is going to be a separate color by itself so They'll have three different colors dropping on the 23rd. I believe they have two more dropping or three more dropping later on sometime. Uh, one is like a slate or like gray type of color, a black, and then they have one that's a mix of those two as well. And like I said, these are retailing for $55. I was lucky enough to get a tweet notification the other day from Soul Links, I think it was. So shout out to them. Um, and I think they dropped one the Adidas app like seven or eight in the morning. Now, the first time they dropped it was at like three in the morning. I missed that. I was I was not up for that. You feel me? Um, but when they redropped them at eight, it was like a couple sizes restocked, and I was able to get them. Unfortunately, I didn't get them in my size, but got them in my girl's size. So she gonna be helping me out with the on foot today, um, because like I said, these are in her size, so she'll be able to tell us about the comfortability and all that. But as far as the like actual foam on it, it reminds me kind of of these, which these are my go-to slides. Like I wear these every day, the Nike, hmm, I can't even remember what the name of them is. I'll put it up on the screen though. Cause I really, I can't recall what these are called, but either way I got these like maybe six months ago, six, seven months ago. And I also have a, a cream and white pair as well. Um, but these are my most comfortable slides. So I want to be able to try these new Addy light slides on just to see what the comfort's like. Cause this is, to me is like one of, it seems like it'll be the most popular slide for this summer coming up. Just cause of the actual design of it. They have a couple different colorways coming out. Um, so I feel like this one would definitely be one for the masses. But um, they have this like, it's called a topical. Hold on, let me pull this up. So I don't, I don't, I don't wanna misspeak here. A topographical map is what the design is on the side. So with all these different lines and everything like that, it's called a topographical map, which I didn't honestly know exactly what that was, but it says a topographic map or a topographic sheet is a type of map characterized by large scale detail and quantitative representation of relief features, usually using contour lines, but historically using a variety of methods. So the actual lines in there, I guess, is where it comes from. Um, they said that they'll be dropping this in a halo and ivory or tech emerald colorway, tan colorway, and as well as the swirl pattern, which is these. Um, I believe they use 3D printing for this. So that's actually pretty dope. And they said that this is also made out of natural and renewable materials. So I guess that means it's good for the earth. Um, but on the bottom here, they have like grooves and dips in it and stuff like that that i don't know this is unlike any other slot i've seen before um but basically they're saying that they're putting a twist on their original addy light slides and like i said i feel like these will definitely be a hit for the summer are they gonna be the most comfortable we're gonna find out um but i will be giving y'all the on foot today 
we'll have a couple different uh, looks for it, like probably like two different pairs of jeans, a pair of sweats with it maybe, and then something with like no, no a socks, you feel me? Just to give y'all a couple different looks for how you might, how you might wear this for this summer, you feel me? Um, but either way, really I need to hold it up. I got too much else to say. Now they did say that these are gonna be kind of in competition with the Yeezy slides as well as the like the Brimberry clock uh crocs. The Benberry Crocs, those retail sets for $85. Or at least that was the Pollux clock clog. I don't know exactly I don't know if that was priced higher than the regular uh Benberry collab with crocs but it says they retail at 85 which is it's a little steep they are reselling for a decent amount as well yeezy slides we already know how those go you feel me i think those retail they said that the, those started at 55 but since 2021 they've been up to like 60 dollars um so the yeezy slides are a comparable price but they're way harder to like get your hands on i feel like i mean these could end up being hard to get because, I mean, they haven't officially, officially came out yet. Um, so they could end up being just as hard as Yeezy slides. But I feel like Yeezy slides are probably still going to stay the hardest slides to, like, get. Because those resell for so much. But, like, two $300 for some Yeezy slides. That's tough. I still don't own a pair, though. So I couldn't. I'm not going to be able to get y'all the comparison on these and the Yeezy slides as far as comfort or nothing like that. But, like I said, I'm here for these. Um... I wanted to get the tan colorway as well as the green one. Wasn't able to get my hands on them, but if I do, I'll probably update y'all with another video. Let, just giving y'all my thoughts on comfort and everything like that, you feel me? But either way, bro, hopefully y'all enjoyed this unboxing. Stay tuned for the own foot. Need y'all to get, hey, get down there in the comments. Let me know if y'all caught these when they dropped on, I think it was June 1st and June 2nd. Um, so let me know if y'all was able to get y'all hands on them, if y'all were. Drop it down there in the comments. Let me know as far as comfort, fit, everything like that. Um, now, my girl wears a size seven and a half. Seven and a half in women? Seven and a half in men's, a nine in women's. What are we getting this? We got a size eight. That's tough. <laughs> so we're going to see how this goes. Um, foot may not fit. I think it should be good, though. But I'll let y'all know at the end how the fit goes uh, for her once we do the on foot. And y'all should be able to see it either way once we do the on foot. If her foot hanging off the front, then I guess that gives you the answer. But um, yeah, but y'all stay tuned for it. Let me know if y'all enjoyed the review. If y'all want to see more videos like this, definitely get down there in the comments. Let me know. Be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Got another unboxing coming soon for the Joe Fresh Goods New Balance. 9060, I believe. Got those coming in tomorrow. So I should have that video up soon. Those are a dope pair, so y'all stay tuned for that. But yeah, bruh. Ain't got too much else to say. On the road to 25K subscribers, might have some something special dropping for y'all at 25K. I ain't gonna say too much about it, but um, appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far, man. Let's keep it going, keep it growing. And like I always say, y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm gonna keep these videos rolling out. We gonna keep giving it a little. Catch y'all in the next video.
always takes it with the heart of stone I got the motherfucking lemon pepper stuff. Lemon pepper stuff. Bitch, All right, y'all. Now, as far as the fit. Like we said, she wears a seven and a half in men's, uh, usually. And this is a size eight, so it's a half a size up. But as y'all can see in the video, or as y'all should be able to, to tell throughout these different on foot looks. Um, but as far as the, the actual band part um, that would touch the nape of your foot or the top of your foot, um, she said it's a little bit of space in between there where it's like it almost feels like it's flopping to an extent. But if you put socks on, um, that kind of takes some of that away. But I know a lot of people like it's summertime. So a lot of people probably won't wear these with socks. Um, but I would say just be a little bit mindful of that because I have heard a lot of people saying that the sizing on these is a little bit off. Um, so you kind of just got to test it out, try it out and see for yourself. For me personally, I'm gonna try to go for a 12 and a half in these when I get them. Um, Cause that's like a perfect size for me as far as slides and actual um, shoes. So I'll I'll try the 12 and a half. If I can't get those, probably go for a 12. I know I wouldn't go for a 13. Um, and like I said, I'll double back if I end up getting the tan and green pair for myself uh, to drop a review for those as well. So y'all definitely stay tuned. Enjoy the rest of the on foot. Um, if y'all have any suggestions for new reviews y'all want to see, new videos, be sure to drop it in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about this video. And if y'all want to see more unboxings like it, let me know that as well, man. Appreciate y'all, boys. Shouts out to Bobo for the own foot. Catch y'all in the next one.